Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review the Everbellis faux leather leggings and to be honest I ordered those leggings a year ago, almost a year ago. It was in January 2020 and I totally forgot about them. I don't know how it happened but I was kind of frustrated and annoyed when they arrived because they didn't really fit. So I just put them in my wardrobe, forgot about them. But now it's time to actually make a review about them and tell my honest thoughts about the leggings. What I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to try them if they stick to the pole because I never tried any other faux leather leggings if they stick to the pole. Because the leggings that I wear right now, if you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that those are my favorite, my most favorite faux leather leggings. They look awesome, the fit is perfect, they're super thin and they stick to the pole. So I'm going to try the same thing with the Everbellis leggings and I have to say they are a bit thicker. The quality seems pretty good. Like the way they feel, the material looks really good. So I can't wait to try them again after almost a year. I ordered size M because I thought they would run small. Yeah, we will soon find out if they fit or not. And I know the light is not perfect. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's summer in Australia, but on the Gold Coast, it's been raining for the last four days and the next seven days will be the same. So there is no way that I can not film over an entire week. So I'm so sorry for the light, but there's nothing I can change about it. And I hope you won't come after me. But for now, let's just do this. I can't wait to get, I can't wait to get in those leggings. Let's do it. So my favorite leggings are my pole dance leggings. The ones that I wear right now, they stick to the pole, not like glue, but almost like skin. They are just perfect. Today it's about the Everbellus leggings. That's why I'm gonna change right now. <laughs> no, I love the material. It feels so nice and shiny, but as you can see, it's just too big. It's too wide. And even on the waistband, it's just too wide. You can see it here, all the wrinkles and on the back. If you wear full leather leggings, you want to make sure that they are tight, but that's definitely not tight. If it's super tight, it's flattering, but like this, it's definitely not. It's just too wide. But I have to say that I really like the material. It is extremely high-waisted in this case. Maybe if I bought size S, if that would have been a little bit lower, but for me, high waist is okay, and that also would be fine, but it, it is very high-waisted, just so that you know. I love the quality, I love that it's super shiny. If you walk, there is no weird squeaking or noise, because that's super frustrating if that happens. But these ones are really good. I don't even know how much I paid for them, but it seems like all the seams are perfectly sewn up, and that's something that I really like and appreciate, but it is too big here that's crazy how big that is right here no i actually feel a little bit like i'm wearing a rubbish bag one of those black rubbish bags and not because i don't like that brand or i think it's bad quality it's just that it's the wrong size what a shame now that i try it on again maybe i'm gonna order size s what do you think let me know in the comments should i order size s or maybe even someone want to order size S from my wish list. I would say if you get the right size, then you will love those leggings. Of course, you have to get the size right. And I think that they are running true to size. I shouldn't have bought size M. I should have bought size S, but now I know better. Next thing that I wanted to try in those leggings is pole dancing. This is going to be interesting because for pole dance, usually you train with your bare skin and there's a reason for it because your skin sticks to the pole and that helps you to really train pole in a safe way. I don't recommend to use leggings and just to pole dance because they're not made for pole dancing. Maybe the seam will rip and then you hurt yourself. I'm just curious if this fabric sticks to the pole as well. To be on the safe side, usually the leggings should be super tight when you pole dance in them. It's the same with the pole dancer car leggings that I wore before. But yeah, I'm just gonna give it a go because I'm super curious if it's gonna work or not. So I start with a basic pole climb to see if they stick to the pole. Wow, okay. 
They kind of do stick to the pole, I'm not sliding. Let's try a cross ankle knee release. And that's probably going to be hard because the leggings are too big, but I will give it a go. Wow, okay. I'm sliding a little bit, but it's actually not too bad. I'm surprised, <laughs> but you can see it is too big. No, I would love these leggings if they would actually fit. Okay, disclaimer. Those leggings are not made or not designed for pole dancing. So do it at your own risk. I don't even recommend it. I just wanted to try it out if they stick to the pole and it looks like they do. What a shame, what a shame, oh no. Okay, I think I have to get another pair, a pair that actually fits. I really like the quality. The material is super shiny and it's a dark black, but it's not super, super black, which I really like. And I would say if you get your size right, then they will look awesome. If you like this video, even though I wasn't able to order the right size for myself, then subscribe to this channel, it's free. And also give this video a like so I know that you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I hopefully see you in the next video.